All right, now it's time to close math workshop. And our sharer is Yasuya today. So let's hear it nice and loud. Read the problem here first, and then read your explanation. Kevin has 37 toy cars. Brent has 10 more toy cars than Kevin. How many toy cars does Brent have? Please explain how you know this. Okay, nice and loud. I know Brent has 47 toy cars because I used the place value strategy. First, I added my tens, then they were 30 plus 10 equals 40. Next, I added my ones, they were 7 plus 0 equals 7. Then, I added my answers, they were 40 plus 7 equals 47. Now I know that Brent has 47 toy cars. Excellent. Let's give you still a Hefner clap. Good job. All right, at this time, it is time for our exit ticket for math. Just to make sure you know what you're supposed to know for today. So, James has 638 marbles. His mother buys him three more packs of marbles. There are 10 marbles in each pack. How should Mar Marcus count his marbles? I'll give you one minute to figure that out. And if you don't have a dry erase board and marker, get a paper and a pencil. And you don't have to hold up anything because I'm going to show you the answer and you can check for yourself. I love the way Celine is showing me that she is quiet, that she is finished because she's sitting quiet. So let's look and see what we have. James has 638 marbles, so you should have written 638. His mother buys him three more packs of marbles. So if you see the word packs, that lets you know you should draw your squares. One, two, three packs. There are 10 marbles in each pack. So plus 10, plus 10, plus 10. All right, so that means I'm looking at what place in my number? Tens. The tens place. Eight. When you're counting by tens, the tens place number will be the one that changes. So 638, what would be the next number after three tens? Four tens is next. 648. Then what's after four tens? Five tens. So 658. What's out of five tens? Six tens. So 668. So if these were your answers, you are correct. Now, if I have an A, B, C, D answer choice, would this be the answer choice that I circle? No! No, because did 638 come out of his mouth? No! No! If it's not an A box, boys and girls, cross it out. Only the answers in boxes are the answers that are correct. So let's see, if B were there, would this be the right answer choice? Yes, yes it alone. would. Yes, it would. So that is the one I would circle. Now, let's get ready to turn and talk about our essential question one more time. What are patterns that numbers have when I skip count by fives, tens, and hundreds? Turn and talk. over here. Jennifer, can you share with the class what you just said in a complete sentence? Um, when I count by five, I, um, the, five, the one place
good. Now, if you skip count high enough or far enough, let's say by fives, then pretty soon your tens and maybe your hundreds place numbers will change too, okay? It just depends on how high you're counting. But initially, for those small numbers, one, it's that ones place or tens place or hundreds place that will change. Okay.